it's Maddie here and welcome back to Oxlog. Um, firstly, a massive apology because I know I said like three months ago or something that I was going to upload much more regularly and here I am with my first video since then so yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I do have like one kind of good excuse but not really good excuse which is that my phone got stolen a couple of weeks ago and while I was at a festival so um, a lot of the footage I was planning to kind of edit as soon as I finished university for the year um, is now gone forever. I do have some of it on my computer so I will try to upload those clips and stuff and make them into some kind of video but um, yeah I'm really sorry about that but I promise, <laughs> I actually promise this time that I'll be uploading way more regularly on this channel. I have the whole summer ahead of me and I'm technically on my year abroad now so yeah I definitely have loads of free time I don't have any very imminent deadlines so yeah anyway um today I'm gonna be making a video about the nightlife in Oxford um we got a DM on Instagram a few months ago from somebody who kind of wanted to know more about it um about whether it's true that you can't have a social life and that you know you're kind of working the whole time and you know various other things so I'm going to be answering all his questions in today's video and also kind of talking more generally about um, clubbing in Oxford and if you have any further questions definitely leave them down below or you can DM us on Instagram, go follow us. So I'm going to start by kind of running through what different clubs there are in Oxford. Basically a lot of clubs have kind of specific nights that people go to them on I also say there is kind of a bit of segregation between the University of Oxford and Oxford Brooks University. So for example one of the clubs Bridge in Oxford has um, an event on Monday nights every week but I think that's pretty much considered a Bricks night and I mean obviously you can go but um, even if you're not at Bricks but I don't know for some reason they just like to split the two universities up I guess it's kind of to do with capacity um, but yeah anyway that's just the case for some clubs, but yeah, I'm going to be running through the week and just saying which clubs are most popular on which nights. Starting with Monday, I would say if you're going to be going out on a Monday, you're probably either going to be going to Sala or Purple Turtle. They're right next door to each other and they're both underground clubs, both kind of electronic music, uh, yeah. Um, Sala also has quite a lot of you know, 70s and 80s night. It's a very kind of edgy club if you want to put it that way. Um, sorry, I'm just cringing at myself saying that, but you know, it is, that's the kind of vibe, I guess. Um, I'd say they're cheaper than most clubs in that, for example, they quite often have deals, like if you write your name on our Facebook wall before a certain time, then you'll get a discount on entry, that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes you can get free entry even, and yeah, Zella and PT are both really popular, and yeah. Tuesdays, again, Zella and PT quite often have nights on then, but I'd say the main place that people go out on Tuesday if they're going to go out is Plush, which is the LGBTQ plus club in Oxford. <laughs> they have a drinks event every Tuesday before going out for people in the LGBTQ plus community, and that's a great way to kind of meet people across the university and meet the committee and everything. Now Plush is obviously open to everyone, allies included, as well as if you can't go, um, if you don't belong to the LGBTQ plus community, but um, definitely if you are an ally, then, you know, bear in mind that for a lot of people it's kind of like a safe space and you should definitely be, well, you should be respectful of sexuality all the time, obviously, but um, just particularly in that, um, sort of environment because you know Plush is very keen to kind of make sure that people feel safe and comfortable on nights out there and yeah Plush is a really really friendly club they play mostly kind of um cheesy music I guess um and yeah it's great fun it's definitely the friendliest club in Oxford I've found like you can go into the smoking area and chat to whoever really um which I don't think is as much of a thing, although it's kind of a thing, but just not as much in other clubs. And yeah, it's really nice. Um, Wednesday is Fuzzy Ducks Night at Park End, or Attic as some people call it. Um, I don't really know what the difference is. I call it Park End. I think it's like the townies call it Attic and uh, the gownies 
call it Parkend or something? I don't know. Anyway, Parkend has different floors with different music on. In one room they're playing kind of charts music and another kind of more electronic music and all that. Um, yeah, it's really good. They sometimes have, you know, special nights where they're offering free food, for example. Yeah, Parkend is good fun. Um, definitely one of the more popular clubs uh, that tend to be quite long queues outside it. That is definitely the kind of main place people go out on Wednesday, although again, Sela does have a night called Burning Down the House, which happens every Wednesday, which is also quite popular. But yeah, I think the main club for Wednesdays is definitely Park End. Then on Thursday, Bridge has their most popular night of the week. Long queues once again. They also have two floors, one which is kind of cheesy music, another which is more kind of electronic R&B kind of stuff. And yeah, Bridge has the biggest smoking area, it's outside and there are, you know, sofas and that kind of thing, which is quite nice. And yeah, it's a pretty sociable place on a Thursday evening. And then Friday, there's a club called Emporium. It's quite cool, they have a photo booth. They sometimes have themed nights, they've got a nice smoking area as well. And then there's also a new club called Fever, which... To be honest, I've only been to once, I think, um, so I don't really know much about it, but I think quite a lot of people go there on Fridays as well. And then, interestingly, very few people go out on Saturdays or Sundays, but if they do, it will either be because they're going to an event in the OT or the Billington, which is in Cowley and is not connected, as far as I know, with like the Billington Club, but it might be. Anyway, the OT and the Billington are kind of clubs that don't have like regular club nights as far as I know um, but do kind of hold events every once in a while which are very popular um, and the O2 is obviously a venue where you know you can go to concerts and that kind of thing yeah and then there's also JT's which is again underground and it's more of a bar I would say I think but you know there is a dance floor there and people do go clubbing there and yeah, that's pretty much the main clubs. Um, I would say most people probably go out Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. But, you know, it very much depends on people's schedules, you know, when they have work and when they have deadlines, that kind of thing. Um, there are also a couple of one-off nights each term. So, for example, after matriculation, there is matriculash, which is basically just people celebrating the fact that they just matriculated. Um, then after collections, which are on mock exams each term, there's usually a night in Emporium. And then after rowing events, they quite often have nights in Emporium as well to celebrate that. As far as the whole rumour goes that, you know, Oxford has the worst nightlife in the country, to be honest, I live in Cambridge and uh, this is the only place that I've been clubbing in enough times to form a kind of well-founded opinion of. Yeah, I would say Oxford and Cambridge have roughly the same standard of nightlife. You know, Oxford nightlife, probably not as good as London, probably not as good as in places like Leeds, which are kind of known as party cities for students. But, you know, people definitely do have fun. There are lots of people who really enjoy going out in Oxford and, you know, it's a great way to meet new people, um, strengthen your friendships with old people. All that kind of thing and yeah it's good fun i thought i'd just mention quickly you know it's kind of obvious and this is basically the same in every university i assume but there are definitely drinking and hookup cultures in oxford drinking i mean it goes without saying most people will probably go out having drunk a bit and possibly continue to drink when they're in clubs um i'd say if you're wanting to kind of save money definitely do the bulk of your drinking at Pre's just because you know drinks aren't remarkably expensive in clubs but you know you're already paying roughly five pounds entry and you might pay five pounds for food afterwards at one of the kebab vans or something so yeah I think most people do do most of their drinking at Pre's. Pre's do tend to be a bit rowdy especially if you go to bigger ones and you just have to be aware especially if you don't drink that that will kind of mostly be the atmosphere there 
So if you don't feel comfortable in that kind of environment, just bear that in mind. Maybe organise to have a smaller pre's with just a few close friends or something. Yeah, I would say in terms of drinking, there's not a huge amount of peer pressure. People don't care a massive deal, especially not, well, at least not in my experience, how drunk you are, you know. And if, for example, you do drink but just don't fancy it on a particular night, people aren't going to criticise you for that. And, you know, quite often people will say, oh, I'm not drinking tonight because I have an essay to write tomorrow or that kind of thing. And, you know, it's a very common and perfectly acceptable excuse. And, you know, there shouldn't even have to be excuses for not drinking because if you don't want to drink, you shouldn't have to and you don't have to. And, you know, people will respect that. And, yeah. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. And, you know, there are so many events throughout the city where alcohol might be offered but which are definitely not kind of dominated by in any sense and you know you can definitely still have fun at those even if you don't drink and you can still make friends if you don't drink you know everything like that so don't worry if you are teetotal or not a fan of getting you know extremely drunk or anything there are definitely options and you definitely won't suffer because of that um and there is also a hookup culture in Oxford, um, you know, there are people who go out to meet people and potentially go home with them or whatever, um, and yeah, again, that is just something you have to be aware of, you know, each to their own, it's completely up to the individual what they want to do, and um, certainly one night stands and things aren't frowned upon. Oxford is a pretty liberal place, as most university cities are, I think, um, and you know, you can kind of do what you want, but just if you're not comfortable, again, with that sort of environment, just be aware of that. Make sure you're going home with other people and going out with other people. Make sure you're looking out for your friends when you are out, um, not leaving your drinks on the side. And yet yeah, you should be fine. I would say in general, if somebody makes a move on someone else um, and the someone else is not interested, if they just kind of politely turn the other person's advances down that's the end of that and they will go off and maybe try and pursue someone else or whatever but um you know obviously there are cases where people are more persistent and you just have to kind of make sure you stay safe don't do anything you don't want to do um be very firm you know unfortunately there are people who are not very good at taking hints for example so definitely don't be worried about being more kind of explicit when you're you know turning people down um uh, <laughs> so i feel like this is dating advice 101 or something but anyway um yeah another thing that this guy wanted to know was whether the subject you do makes a difference to how often you go out and i would say um it doesn't massively it does in the sense that your deadlines might be on different days um well, you know, you might have lectures in the morning on particular days, so wouldn't want to go out the night before, that sort of thing. And also, you know, not everybody has exams at the same time. Classic students, for example, have their exams at different times from everyone else, and in second year, humanities students don't have exams, and some of the scientists do, and that kind of thing. But in general, when it's not exam season, I think it depends a lot more on just kind of what the particular person's tastes are and which club nights they enjoy. Um, in general I'd say people work around that sometimes so they'll kind of make sure they get work done so they can go out on a particular night, that sort of thing. Um, yeah I think it's a lot more about how organised you are than about what subject you're doing and about you know what your priorities are, how much you want to go out on a particular night. Um, and I mean, you don't even have to be that organised to fit clubbing into your schedule. Um, I am definitely not the most organised of students and I tend to go out probably at least twice a week. I don't know. I mean, it kind of depends, but um, I'll see people from all different subjects usually when I'm there. One last thing is that some people just don't enjoy clubbing. Totally fine, totally normal. There are plenty of people in Oxford who never go out, have never gone out, um, never planned to go out and that's totally fine. As I said before there are so many other events across the city which are you know more intellectual. <laughs> if you don't enjoy clubbing that doesn't mean that you're not going to meet people or anything 
Um, it just means that you're going to meet people in different ways, and that's completely fine. Um, again, people are mostly very respectful of your decisions, and if you don't want to go out, then you certainly won't be forced to, and yeah. So definitely, if that's not your scene, don't feel pressured into it, just do what you're comfortable with. Maybe if you want to get a bit of socialising in, just go along to the pre's and then slip off afterwards. Also obviously there's a lot of FOMO surrounding club nights um, and people who are worried that if they don't go out on a particular night they're gonna miss out massively but you know all club nights especially if it's in the same club are kind of the same. I mean yes something funny might happen but ultimately you're not gonna miss out a huge deal if you don't go out. Um, even if it's freshers week or something um, Again, yeah, there are still plenty of ways to meet other people which um, don't involve going out and some people value their sleep, some people just don't enjoy it and that's completely fine. So yeah, just don't worry about that if you're not into clubbing at all and if you are into clubbing, yes, maybe Oxford isn't the place that you'd come if you wanted to experience like the best clubbing in the UK or whatever, but it is still enjoyable. Um, and I'd say most people will have a lot of fun when they go out, so yeah, look forward to it. <laughs> and yeah, if you have any further questions, as I said, leave them down below, or you can always DM us on Instagram or on our Facebook page, and one of us will get back to you as soon as we can. And yeah, I will see you very soon, because I actually will make much more of an effort to film them. If you have any requests for any other videos, leave them down below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!